body the digestive system starts with the antemost part of the gut that is called vestibule the antemost part of the alimentary canal is called vestibule here where is vestibule present the space that lies between cheeks and gums lips and gums is called vestibule the space that lies between cheeks and gums uh, teeth and lips you know can be called vestibule here you know. now the vestibule region the lips uh, are connected to the gums by upper frenulum upper frenulum if you take the lip upper lip here you now is connected to the gums by a fold of skin you can make out like this you know what is it called upper frenulum same way the lower lip is connected to the gums by lower frenulum lower frenulum you know okay so frenulum is a fold of skin that helps in fastening the upper lip to the gums and the lower frenulum is the one which helps in connecting the lower lip to the gums you know it's called frenulum region please remember this point you know then vestibule is followed by buccal cavity you know vestibule opens into buccal cavity you know. now you must remember this neat point of view the entire buccal cavity in human body is lined by an epithelium what kind of epithelium lines the entire buccal cavity it is lined by stratified keratin non keratinized stratified non keratinized squamous epithelium you know. okay what kind of epithelium envelops the entire buccal cavity several times this question was asked in the mcert and other exams also remember the entire buccal cavity is lined by stratified non keratinized squamous epithelium you know now the roof of the buccal cavity is called palate roof of the buccal cavity is called what palate you lift your tongue and touch you know that surface of the buccal cavity the roof of the buccal cavity is called palate you know now this palate has the anterior hard palate and the posterior soft palate you know anterior you have soft palate anterior hard palate posterior soft palate that hard palate is formed by bones of the palate like palate uh, palatine bones the squamosal bones the quadrate bone they take part in the formation of hard palate you know palatine squamosal quadrate bones take part in the formation of hard palate you know then when you touch the hard palate with your tongue you now you can feel certain ridges and furrows you know you can feel certain thickening on the hard palate those ridges and furrows present on the hard palate are known as rugae what are they known as rugae here you should remember this point here now again need point of view mcert point of view any other exam here now they may ask you know what is the function of rugae here now what is the function of those ridges and furrows present on the hard palate region this rugae prevent slipping away of food particles from the buccal cavity once you start chewing the food here now food is prevented from falling from the buccal cavity by means of rugae here you know. okay since they are present on the palate here now they are called palatine rugae you know, because rugae are present even in the stomach so the rugae present in the present on the palate are called palatine rugae they prevent slipping away of food particles from the buccal cavity you know the next you have soft palate the soft palate hangs downwards into the buccal cavity in the form of a fleshy projection you know okay like this in the form of a small fleshy projection that fleshy projection is called uvula what is it known as uvula the fleshy projection that hangs downwards into the buccal cavity is called uvula here you should remember the function of the uvula you know what is the function while swallowing the entire uvula is pushed upwards to block the na nasopharynx and to prevent the entry of food into the nasopharyngeal region you know i should repeat once again while swallowing food uvula is pushed upwards to block the nasopharynx and thereby to prevent the entry of food into the nasopharyngeal region you know so this is about the palate part the next you have in the buccal cavity the tongue Now we shall talk about the most important points with reference to the tongue, human tongue. You know.